In today's video, I'll be showing you guys some fresh blender geometry node generators that I'm positive many of you will find useful and helpful. Today's list has something for everyone, covering generators for clouds and trees, adding insects, making stylized stones, and much more. So without further ado, let's jump right into it. We're gonna start with Aerodynamic Streamline Simulator made by CG Matter which is a very interesting one and I don't think I have seen something similar that can help you do that in Blender using geometry nodes. This generator allows you to simulate aerodynamics onto any type of object in your scene and it works by shooting a bunch of particles at your object and then giving you a visual representation of how it collides and flows through your object which is how aerodynamics work in the first place. This generator comes with a bunch of customizable settings to fine-tune the effect allowing you to adjust the direction of your particles in addition to changing the sub-steps of the simulation. And of course, we can't forget about the main settings for adjusting the speed, noise, strength and stability in addition to particle size and so much more. So if you want to show some practical scientific explanation of something that has to do with aerodynamics, then this generator can be really helpful. And now let's jump to something more practical when it comes to creating art, and this is about generating trees with L-System, which is a special tree generator that is different from other tree generators due to the approach it takes. On the surface, it looks just like the others, because it lets you add your trees and customize them using various settings like seed, thickness, wind strength, and speed, as well as distortion and much resolution. Now the interesting part is that you can go into the edit mode where you can freely edit the base of your mesh and by assigning or removing certain sections from the vertex group you can eliminate certain main branches which can be useful. Also using the L-shaped curve allows you to add interesting curves and curls to your branches making them look more organic and more interesting. From generating organic stuff let's go to something more like industrial and hard surface with this generator called Node Pipes. This GeoNode generator simplifies a pipe system creation inside Blender, which I think offers some versatility because it allows you to create pipes using geometry nodes in addition to procedural materials that you can customize. It actually offers 10 distinct pipe systems, each with its own unique effects and styles, like flexible, hanging, complex, and extra twisted pipes, just to name a few. And each system comes with various customization settings to control the entire effect, like thickness, automatic and manual joint controls, steering wheel controls, and more. And these settings, coupled with over 22 high quality procedural materials, I think make it more than ever you will need on a simple project, or something that you would create on the fly. So I think it will be a great addition to your toolset. Moving on to something a little less practical, but unique and interesting, which is a tool for generating logo bricks. And I think this geometry node generator is self-explanatory, because it allows you to play around with Legos in 3D, and using this enables you to make all sorts of stuff using Legos, but it does it in an interesting way. This is the case because other Lego generators use multiple Lego assets, and this generator only uses one and it makes it possible for you to manipulate and adjust it to come up with different pieces. For example, you can get a longer piece by tiling it in the X and Y directions and this opens up many possibilities. You can also customize other settings of your LEGO block, for example the resolution, black and bulb height and even thickness, as well as its color which you can directly adjust in the GeoNode modifier. And next, we're gonna go from building Legos to building big platforms. This platform generator allows you to build structures that are way more complex using the platform generator. And this one simplifies its creation with geometry nodes obviously, offering a lot of various customization options that you can play around with. And what I find fascinating about this generator is that it automatically generates platforms, spawning pillars, beams, and planks simply by moving and extruding your geometry and it works in real time, which is fantastic for feedback. You can also adjust its scale, style and scatter objects using vertex groups in addition to specifying the material of each part of your generated mesh. 
you also have pre-made assets for six platform styles. And for each one, you can tweak parameters like stairs, planks, beams, railings, and more with all the settings that you have. The next one we have is the document paper stack pile generator. This generator is also pretty self-explanatory. It allows you to create paper stacks automatically so that you won't have to do it manually yourself. And just like any other geometry node generator, the tool comes with a level of customizability that allows you to tweak and adjust your document to your liking. And it gives you settings like controlling the layer amount, changing the seed to get random variations of your document, and another very nice setting is a random translate. And what this does is that it adds random scattering offset to each page. And it can be paired with a random rotate, which will help you get the organic natural feel of the documents. And when it comes to randomness, you get to control how much you want to use it in the random controls, from settings like random scale, detail, and roughness. This can be great and useful for any office scene, and the messier it gets, the more useful this one is gonna be. From papers and documents, let's go now to something that tackles insects and birds. With a modifier setup called Fauna Sketcher, it lets you add insects and birds to your scene by simply drawing their path. And unlike simulations, this tool is lightweight and can be user-friendly, which means it does not require any complex setup. And a good thing, it comes packed with a variety of assets including moths, bees, flies, and colorful butterflies in addition to crows, seagulls, geese, and bats. And once you have picked your choice, go to the Geometry Node modifier where you will find loads of settings and sliders to customize your effects, allowing you to adjust how many particles there are and how fast they can move. In addition, you can tweak fields like randomness spread, turbulence, strength, and more. And to keep things realistic, you can set up a collision collection. This stops bugs from flying through other objects in your scene, making it look more believable and realistic. And now we're gonna take a look at the Cloud Generator, which is, from what I can see, a straightforward geometry node generator that allows you to add and customize clouds in your scene, and you can do that really fast, which is also from CG Matter. So after adding a cloud to your scene, you have different settings that you can customize your clouds from. Firstly, from Seed, it helps you get some random variation of your cloud within a short period of time. Next, you can find resolution, and the higher you set it, the better your clouds are gonna be, I mean more details, but also the slower they are when it comes to rendering and computing. Now, let's talk about some adjusting the shape of your clouds, using the size on Y, X, and Z, to specify their dimensions, and you can also adjust their growth, density, hardness, as well as the noise distortion, scale, and detail. Now from clouds, let's jump all the way down to stones and rocks. With the stone geometry node generator that simplifies the task of creating stylized and realistic stone structures right inside Blender in a short period of time. As you can see, it offers easy customization with options like subdivision, beveling, and dynamic noise control for the organic natural looking structures that you can find in nature. As usual, this one comes with a bunch of features like rotation and precise control over stone blocks. In addition, you can easily transform any curve into a detailed stone structure and you can even take it a step further and draw your own curve shape so you can turn that into stones. Last but not least, we have Lazy Wind, which I think brings realistic wind effects to your models and it can do this really quickly and efficiently. Of course, using procedural geometry node techniques, and you can create dynamic wind effects without doing any actual simulations. And the key feature of this tool is its application for instant wind effects that are fully customizable, allowing you to control the amplitude, frequency, and minimum and maximum height of the wind in addition to other stuff. You could draw on your mesh to specify certain areas to be affected by the wind, which is really nice and handy to have. And there you have it guys. If you are interested in one of those geometry node generators, you will find all the necessary links in the description. I hope you guys found this video useful and informative. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. You can also check some of our previous videos. Also, please subscribe to this channel if you're new. 
Thank you very much for watching and I will see you in the next one.